Kuhner's Calibu Cuddles de Cinco, also known as the Brat Cat. And here I'm talking to you about you. Yeah, she's gotten so fat in her middle age. She's getting lazy. And she still has a shoe fetish. Yeah, you do. And she still loves tuna. Oh, that girl loves tuna. And I'm getting ready to try something interesting. I'm gonna do a recipe where I try like a little, I don't know, it's gonna be some, I looked on the internet, it's like an almond encrusted pork, and I'm gonna cube up the pork and roll it in this stuff, and kind of, anyway, throw it in there, and then throw some vegetables, and throw other stuff, and then stuff and more stuff. Well, we, we can't. We're reworking Andrea and Chauncey's room, repainting. And I want to show you somebody who's been a big helper. And it's not you. She just wishes she could go in with her Chauncey and sleep in Chauncey's room. She's got pain on her tail and on her legs and on that big cancer spot on her leg and she's got pain on one ear. Do you hear something story? No, you're just deaf, aren't you? Oh, you must be deaf. Quite a bit blind. 100% pure sugar. 100% pure sugar. Yeah, she went in and helped out with the painting earlier. Oh, you even got your nose. You poor baby. Slow down there. Slow down. Okay. It's okay. It's okay, Mom. Here, why don't you go outside for a minute? Come on. Little paint dog. Little paint dog. Come on. Little paint dog. She's a dog that likes to help paint. So when Mom and Chauncey were painting earlier, she was, I have to close the door, she just come right back in. She was in and out of the room, evidently helping out. And there she is. What a good girl. She just goes right over there and does her business. What a good girl. I don't know if you can really see, but what a good girl. And then when I came there and painted, I didn't want her in and out. Just my preference. I know she's got a natural brush built into her tail, but I didn't think we needed that much texture. So, she's so old now, I just put a few things by the door and she can't get through. And what we've got done so far is primer. This room is green. We have some little drawings that Andrea had done along here. You can still see now that it's dried up some black trying to get through. I'm going to have to hit that with the primer some more. I think we got that up there pretty good. I think we got this over here pretty good. And this is Andrea's growth chart. Painting puppy. She's a painting puppy. Yeah, she got paint on her nose, and on her ear, on her leg, because she likes to go into the areas where there's paint. We tried to keep you out of it, but 
even as I was painting tonight, she was just sitting there on that side and just with her head on that stool looking at me like, please let me in. What? You're acting like a, maybe we need a doggy bone. All right. I think somebody's gonna earn a doggy bone. Let's go over here. Get us a doggy bone. You have to be careful these days. Sit, sit. Put your honey down. Oh, I guess it's too hard for you. No. Try to give it to her by hand or anything. She wants to jump and lunge at it. And Do y'all have any more doggy bones? Let's see. What we have over here. Mmm, bacon, 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 bacon strips. I hear these are good for old doggies who have cancer. Yeah, Stormy's got cancer now. And we thought that lump on her leg this whole time was like a cyst, a fluid filled cyst. And doctor said no, and she's got all the symptoms of cancer. She's starting to get dehydrated, so we've got two big old bowls of water, and she drinks just a ton of water. And that's why we got to let her out all the time, because she drinks a ton of water. Mm. Sit. Sit. Oh, <laughs> she turns in circles. Sit. Okay. Hear them snapper chompers going? Those are dangerous weapons. So, I thought we would give her more food and just treat her, but we've learned that if we give her too much food, and even if it's just her dog food, it just does not go well with her bowels. So we have to keep on a pretty strict regimen. Even though she's kind of wasting away, but I have to remember it's from the cancer. It's not from not from malnutrition. She gets a huge bowl of food every day, and then she pretty much just sleeps all day. Yes, you do. But she seems happy. She doesn't seem in any pain. Limps a little bit every once in a while. She's still a love puppy. And that's Stormy the painting puppy. Yeah. Oh. She says, can I come and take another bone? All right, let's do one more bone. Look at her. She didn't want a bone. She's over there looking at the bacon strips. The bacon strips. Bacon, 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 bacon. So, cut it into two pieces this time. Sit. Do you still know how to sit? No, you know how to turn around in circles. So you just don't hear it too good. She used to sit, sit, she used to sit all the time, yeah, sit down, sit that honey down, can you put that honey down? No, I must hurt her back leg, she used to be real good at sitting. Ooh, ooh, huh. look what daddy has for you, doink, mmm, that's it. That's Stormy the painting puppy right there. She's got paint all over her little body in different places. Yeah. You're a good help, I tell you what. You're a good help painting. Yes, you are. You're a good painter.